Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again today. And today we're going to have another video regarding the Mister. So, if, for those who don't know, the Mister project is an open source FPGA platform on the Jurassic DE10 Nano. It's been around for a couple of years and it's only gotten better and better. I'm not going to get into the whole hardware simulation versus simulation, but uh, FPGA has really come a long way. Uh, prices have gone down on some of them and people are doing pretty miraculous things. But the one thing that I love about the Mister is that it can give you a lot of different outputs. For instance, um, you can have HDMI and you get an output on the screen like this. This is the TCL 75-inch <clears throat> screen that I have. And um, as you can see here, it's this is just a basic 1080p output. But I also have my CRT right here. This is a PC CRT, the Apple Studio model. I've done videos on it before. So what's nice about Mister is that you can have different configurations. Uh, so there's a way to do it when you start up. You basically just hold down the menu back button. So on this controller, the menu back button happens to be A. So you hold down A and one of the directions and it gives you your different config. But I'm doing it through the menu right now just to show you guys how it's done. So I'll come down here. Now I'm doing this through the camera so there's delay. Uh, main, Alt 1, Alt 2. Those are the ones that I have set up. So on Main I have the generic setup with the, I believe the V scales are set to zero so I can do the whole... 5x uh, with the crop offset that everyone's going crazy about and it does look really good for 1080p and whatnot But now I'm gonna do alt 1 which turns on the force scan doubler. So let's enable that real quick Okay So let's go over to this Right here and now You'll see that I have an output on this CRT and it's basically just running uh, scan doubling so for the vertical I'll show you guys real quick what it does uh, let's pick a tried and true system the Sega Genesis and it, look look how much faster it is so it was already on the CRT in the instant and what we'll do is we'll pick a game a uh, game everyone knows We'll do the Pyrot version. <clears throat> and you'll see it says 320 by 448. So it's doubling the lines. Normally it'd be 224. And it looks fine. It, it looks very crisp, very sharp. And it's okay. And when you're in here, you can go to different options. Like for scan doubler FX, I find that the scan lines here are, are all right. I need to turn that down. Love the music of Streets of Rage. But I'll show you guys that this looks, I mean, it's a very nice full image. And, you know, you get scan lines. The scan lines look pretty good. They're convincing. They're not amazing, but they're convincing. They're better than... Um, I think they're better than using a filter, but me personally. I think the filters don't get dark enough. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think the scan lines here get dark enough. But they are significantly, um, they're very nicely done. I mean, there's something similar, very similar to the OSSC and its scan lines. But the OSSC, as we know, has hybrid scan lines, which, you know, kind of change things and how they look. One thing to make note of, when you're using the scan doubler and you're using the FX on that, it does affect your HDMI output as well. So the scan doubler is just, like I said, it's just doubling the lines. It's probably really, really quick. I, you know, when I play on it, I don't really feel any lag. It's actually really smooth and it looks great. The problem with this though, that I was finding on this screen, the scan doubler works great for like Sega Genesis and stuff, but what happens when I try to play an arcade game? 
So let's try the um, the new CPS2 core by Jotego or Yotego, <clears throat> depending on who you speak with. And here is Street Fighter Alpha 1 on CPS2. And right there, I'm losing sync. So this might not happen to you. You might not have to even venture past this part of the video. But on my screen, as you can see, I'm just losing sync left and right. It's, it's, it's just happening. Now, on the that side of things, it's fine. Um, there's nothing going on there. It just works. See? But on the CRT, I just I keep dropping out. I can't get I can't get it locked in. So I have this issue here where it's like, man, I really want to play Alpha One, but I can't. I just keep, you know, having issues. I can't lock in a signal. I've tried VSync Adjust. I've tried the VSync modes. I've tried everything. It's just not it's not happening. Oh look look it's it's working there for a minute, and then. You know, then it drops out again. <laughs> See what I mean? So it, it'll tease you. You know, it's like uh, it's no good. So what I found out that I had to do is I started looking into the custom video mode. So I was like, all right, let me feed uh, something that this monitor will like in order for me to play this game. So now I've reset it and. I figured out uh, a mode line that will actually work for this CRT and it, it'll be happy. And that's going into a 240p line mode, but doubling the frame rate for 120 hertz. Now, I know I've done a video of this, of doing it from a, an actual computer, and it was pretty much very similar. Uh, a big shout out to Alexor on the Yotego Discord. He's the one that put me on the right path. He helped me out a bit. And uh, the thing that he got me was, he said, hey, there's a limitation of a horizontal of 2048. It, I guess it's some sort of bug or something that they haven't really fixed on every single core. But some of the cores you can go beyond it, some of them you can't. So in order to just, you know, not deal with all that nonsense, I went to uh, Mike Chi's RetroTrink Ultimate selling page, what he used to have. And I took the mode line because he, he had a limitation on the Raspberry Pi 3. His rap, Raspberry Pi 3 image was also 2048. And I just took those numbers and inserted them in the mister. And uh, Mike actually owns this monitor. He calls it the poor man's BVM because it's, it's actually really, really nice. Um, geometry is excellent. Color is spot on. I mean, it's a beautiful, gorgeous monitor. So that, that's what his deal was. Uh, and so basically what I did was I took those numbers and I made an alt two I and I and uh, we'll see how that works. So in order to use this, you have to go through the VGA scaler and it's going to look weird here. Uh, I mean, basically you put VGA scaler to one to actually use the scaler and look how it looks on the, uh, the LCD. It's, it's stretched out because the resolution right now is 2048. Uh, by 240 at 120 and ironically enough the TCL it seems to just take these resolutions I mean I tried 320 uh, by 240 at 120 and it worked and the PCL just, just it just runs them it just looks weird but it runs them so back on the CRT side of things um, this works very very well now I had to do VSync adjust to zero so there might be some lag overhead on that but here we are. We're going to try it again. We'll do the same Streets of Rage 2 test. And what's interesting enough is that they were bringing up custom aspect ratios. You can do that on the consoles. Uh, you can do that on any core, exactly. You, you set up custom resolution or, and custom uh, aspect ratio. But I, did, I felt that I didn't have to do that at all. Now, you see there, 2040, 2048 by 240 and 85.9. And you can see here... Everything looks kind of um, scrunched in. I don't know if you guys notice, but if you look, you have the actual image and it's like pushed in. You see that? So I got to figure out how to stretch it out. And the easiest thing I found and actually works really, really well is you go to the settings here, you go to audio video, and there is a aspect ratio. It says original, full screen. 
done. That's it. So no playing around with aspect ratios. You just go to full screen and now you're getting uh, that 240p at 120 hertz. And now the scan lines are th thick and they're black, meaning that it's not like creeping into another, the next scan line. Whereas the scan doubler, as nice as it looks, and it does look good, I actually like it quite a bit. You you have a little bit of color bleeding from one from one line to the next. Whereas on this, there's no color bleeding at all. It's just black. I mean, it's almost like, uh, it's kind of basically an OLED right now, but this looks better because it's, you know, CRT. So that was just a little, option i wanted to throw out there for you guys now the reason why does this work with uh cps2 well, let's take a look uh, let's see here and we'll go back to alpha one this this looks excellent i mean you're not going to see the difference through the phone but I'm telling you, it looks excellent. And people keep talking about 120 hertz having a lot of uh, motion blur. I I don't see it on this screen. I have delved into like reading about it and stuff like that. They said it's like, well, the motion blur is it's there. It's more motion blur than like normal 60 hertz because it's strobing, but it's still a lot less than what you would get on an LCD. So. I don't know. I'm very susceptible to motion blur. As a matter of fact, I'm one of the few people that when I watch a, a movie that's filmed in 24 frames, which is basically 99% of them, I have to put the, um, the frame rate interpolation on so it looks smoother. It gives you that soap opera effect. I'm not saying I like the soap opera effect, but it doesn't make me you know, sick or give me headaches when I'm watching a movie with that on. So you, I'm one of the few guys that actually will turn that on all the time. But the that's for another video down the road. So here we go. You're looking at it. It's all scrunched in. What do we do? So aspect ratio, full screen, done. Now I don't get the full image because I have an integer scaling as on. Uh, you actually go to vscale mode and I believe it's vscale one. I'll put those settings in the mode lines, everything down there to get this to work. But this is breathtaking. This is gorgeous. And I'll, I'll take a loss on the, some of the horizontal resolution because if you don't put integer scaling on, because this core is running at 224 height and the mode lines in two, 240, there's some weird things that are going to happen on. There's a little bit of shimmering and everything. But if you just set it to integer scale, you get a nice centered image, uh, at least with my mode lines on this monitor. And it's jaw dropping. I mean, this is, I, I'll be honest with you guys, this is better than arcade. I mean, I remember playing this game in the arcade and uh, this pretty much blows it out of the water. Uh, I don't know how the lag is because remember, we're using V-Sync zero. So it might be a whole frame for all I know, but man, this looks amazing. And now I can play this game on this CRT because the CRT likes this mode line. So if you guys have any questions or comments, I'm sure people are going to be like, you know, how do I get this set up on my setup? Uh, you know, I'll just help you guys out as much as I can. But uh, this, this, is, this is awesome right here. So it's nice that Mr. has the ability to switch. Oh, my buttons are all messed up. Man, the lag is terrible on this camera. Anyway, you guys didn't come here to see me play. You wanted to see the, the, the options, but... Oh, God, you can combo from a straight fears. Anyway. This looks great. I suggest everyone out there get into it. You know, if you have a mister, you could try different. And remember, there's still a third eye and eye. And uh, that leaves me with the option to have the mister go upstairs and, you know, do some uh, other stuff with the monitors up there. Anyway, folks, hit me up if you need any help. I'll... Try my best as I can. Thank you.